So hi guys, welcome back. And the last piece we need to do is to actually store the scrape data into a text file. And for this, we will be using a simple uh, notepad file. So the idea is to scrape the data and then save them uh, into a simple file. And basically each time we scrape new data, we will append them at the end of the file. So let me show you how to do it. First, let's go on the top and we need to import a file system and there is no need to install any more dependencies because file systems is coming with the node environment by default. So all you need to do is to just require it. So const file system and we want to require fs. fs stands for the file system. And now let's go down here. And let me create a command, save data to the text file and how to do it. Uh, the concept is very simple. We need to create a logger uh, and to do this, we will be working with the file system create write stream function. And then we will simply write the data and then we will close the uh, file. So let me demonstrate. So let's create a variable named logger and into that variable we want to use file system that create write stream and now we need to pass two arguments first one is name of the file so let's give it log.txt and the second one is a flex and basically here we want to specify if we want to overwrite the current value when we are adding the new or if we want to append uh, to the next uh, to the end of the file. So in our case, we want to use a as append because we don't want to override the current value. And step two is called the write function. So we want to logger that write. And here let's create a template literal. And here we want to set the full date, name and the price. So let's start with full date. Then let's use, for example, dash. Here we want to use name trim because we want to trim it and get rid of the white spaces if there are any. And then let's do the price. Again, use price trim. And after we write our value, we need to close the file. So we will call logger.close. And that's it. This is the very simple way to do it. So uh, now we can actually try it. So let's open the terminal and npm run scraper. And as you can see, our log.txt file was created. So let me close the terminal and let's open the log. And as you can see, we have a nice date, name and the price. And what happens if I run the scraper again? So let's do it. And as you can see, it appended at the end of the term, but we have a small mistake because we want it to be like this so we need to add a new basically new line after each uh, write of the logger so let me quickly fix it and go here to the write function and at the end after the price trim just create a new line like this and save it and let's now run a scraper and as you can see, the data has been written nicely on the new line. So let's do it multiple times. And as you can see, every new scrape data will go to its own line. It will store its own date, the name and the price. So I think that's it. You can basically play with it. You can modify it. You can scrape different data or you can uh, make a different formatting. But basically this is the idea and the concept of the simple scraper 
and just stick to the pattern and you can modify the selectors and whatever you want to scrape or you can apply it on a different website and if you have any questions feel free to ask but I think everything is nice and clear and you shouldn't have any problems to create your own scraper so I think that's it and see you in the next video